looking at here is a, a variant of the, the 42 Max projectile. Um, this uh, is associated with the current PowerPoint uh, rimfire round that we have, except this one has been enhanced a little. Uh, it's a higher velocity version than PowerPoint, but obviously running the 42 grain projectile. The velocity nominal on this particular round is up by 40 feet, so it's up to 13, 20 feet per second. Uh, this has allowed it to be uh, obviously a flatter trajectory round and obviously uh, one that uh, carries a fair bit of uh, impact and hitting power with it. Uh, the performance of the projectile is very similar to the subsonic. Uh, it has entered into the block approximately 10 mil and then started the cavity, so once again the hollow point is opening up. This is a little bit different, this particular version, because in the case of this particular block, this is shot at 75 yards uh, and it still retains an explosive impact as we'll get through further on. But the cavity on this stretches out to about 160 millimetres and the diameter is quite a bit wider at around 45. So in the case of this particular round, a lot more shock, a lot more trauma in this area. Uh, but as you can see, it has fragmented and due to the construction of this new 42 grain bullet, it actually break, breaks off in larger sections, so those in themselves cause a lot more trauma. Uh, but once again, we're still very important that we try and keep our uh, penetration down to no more than uh, around the 280, no more than 300. In the case of this, it's about 295. Uh, that is obviously shed some weight, but with the, the new design of the 42 grain max projectile, uh, it is retained on average around 75% of its weight. So for those shots on larger you know, small game, like foxes and wallabies, for example, you still get quite a good penetration out of this round, but you get the explosive effect uh, earlier on in. So a lot of trauma, a lot of upset in this area, and slightly higher velocity, slightly uh, heavier bullet weight, obviously more power with that round as well. But with that said, even with the uh, projectile losing its uh, front section, the hollow point section, it ex still expands to more than its diameter. Can you put that on the paper posty? We'll put him down. And as you can see from that round, it's still mushroomed quite well, considering that it has lost the front section of the bullet. As you can see from the reading on the verniers, even with the frontal section that's been totally uh, basically blown off, uh, it has still expanded out to uh, 0.295 inches, so running approximately 70 thou, or just under 2 millimetres, for example, bigger than the calibre diameter. So once again, even though it's shed so much weight, it has still expanded quite well. Here we go again, same theme as before, everything's done by threes, just to give us an idea that everything's behaving as it should. As you can see from the the cavities, all the cavities are consistent. Cavity is very similar. Diameter is pretty much the same. Penetration is a slight variance on this one. It seemed to travel a little bit further, but once again, still very consistent and still a similar shedding of the nose section on impact. So what we'll do is we'll pull out the, uh, the fragments as well as projectiles and compare them. Second shot. Imagining things. There's all your recovered projectiles. As you can see, the chunks that come off are quite substantial, so that in themselves uh, are working for us. This particular one only broke into two pieces, but typically the average is sort of between three to four. Once again, all trauma-inducing uh, pieces of lead.